back to another video. Today we are very thankful for Oxbeam for supplying a six switch panel, some LED headlight bulbs, and fog lights. I'm going to be installing these to my 2023 Toyota Tacoma Trail Edition. As you know, Trail Edition doesn't come with fog lights. <laughs> I'm excited to install everything here, so let's go. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on the headlight bulbs. They come in a pack of two. These are the Q20SE series, and I'm told that these are a turned down LED headlight. So the lighting output is actually a little bit less, so you can put them in stock headlights, so you're not blinding people on the road. So this is a bulb, and this is really just gonna be a quick plug and play swap replacement. This is the H11 bulb, so I'm gonna replace my driving lights with this. So this is the six gang multifunctional switch panel, and it comes with everything you need to do a full install, as well with a couple different mounting brackets, so you have full flexibility to mount the system the way you want it. Each button can be used as a toggle, a momentary switch, or pulsed. It has full RGB backlight, and you can turn the switch panel on and off as you wish, and it's built for Bluetooth, so you can use it with your phone. This is the auxiliary switch, panel this is where all your accessories get wired into and so you can see there's one to six we have a multifunctional six panel so this is where all the wires come in it acts as your relay and it acts as a nice clean system for all your wiring to come into and your positive and negative hookup for your battery so in this configuration the switch assembly is going to go in the engine bay and then the aux beam switch panel is going to go inside the cab and finally for the fog light we have the three inch pod lights from Oxbeam, and these are quite interesting because as you can see here we started off with the square pod and the square bezel clear lens and then they send you everything to make it a yellow lens with a round bezel so i've already test fitted some brackets and so these are the ones i'm going to need to put on the truck the lens and bezel is simply replaced by removing the four face screws here for this application we do need to buy the fog light bezel so i ordered these they're just plastic little covers face of the fog light bezel isn't straight and neither is the face plate on the bezel for the fog light. Essentially the chamfered ends are gonna meet and allow it to be straight, if that makes any sense. So let's get these installed on the truck. Okay, so we're here in the truck now and as you can see, I just removed the front decorative centerpiece here. It just pops off, no tools required. Figuring out where I want to install my switch panel and it's a matter of preference, but essentially in the Tacoma, there's a lot of room of where you can put it. You can put it on top here have it down below. I want it, I think, preferably on the driver's side here to the left, kind of tucked out of the way. So that's where I'm going to put it. I think it'll look good just sitting there up on top of the bezel there. This is the front trim for the dash and this is the top here, right? This is where I want to mount my switch panel. There's a slight corner here. And what I'm going to do is just trim that enough for the cable to sneak in behind. Visually from the driver's seat, you're not going to actually see it. Nice little flat surface. And it's enough surface to get two screws in to the top here to keep it secure to the bracket. Okay, that is the switch panel now mounted. You can see, nice and secure. Let's go test fit it and see if we clear our cable here. So this is the switch assembly and then there's a variety of different brackets to mount the switch panel. I'm gonna use the stock bolt hole here and the panel should fit nice just there. And all the wires can stuff can run up underneath and it's a really short run to the battery which is right here. I just gotta find uh, a bolt that matches the bolt pattern there and then we can mount the panel. So ideally you'd want two mounting spots and as you can see there's a secondary hole here just short of the bracket. So what I might do is just connect it with a piece of metal so I have two points, but this is nice and tight. It's definitely secure enough for the switch assembly. Okay, so I have everything mounted now where it needs to go. Now we are in the process of doing the wiring. So the first thing I'm gonna wire is the cable that connects this switchboard to the panel inside, to this panel here. And so we got this plug and we got this cable here that we basically got to route through. This end here goes to the switchboard four pin connector and then the other end the other end goes inside what I've done and it might be a little hard to see here but I just have it's actually a tent peg wedged through the firewall here there's a little rubber grommet that 
the wires go through and then this is the cable for the hood latch. So I just push that through. So I have this end pushed and let's check on the inside. Let's see if we get a light here. There's the other end of the tent peg. So essentially I'm going to tape the end of the cable to this and pull it through. Okay, that is definitely easier said than done, but now I have the cable routed through the firewall. This connects to the panel on the dash. So now we can put the inside back together. The panel popped in nice. So you can see the trim all back and installed and the panel board is exactly where I wanted it. Nice and accessible for a driver. You're not having to look down and try to find where the panel is or the buttons. They're just right there, nice and accessible. All right, now believe it or not, this is the easy part. We've got to unhook the battery from the truck. That is really important because we don't want to be doing any electrical work when it's still alive. Now all we got to do is run our positive from our battery to our fuse, and then from our fuse positive to the positive port on the panel. The negative goes right from the battery to the negative to the panel. And then we just gotta run the little positive cable here for the accessory and that taps into the fuse, which is why I have my fuse box open down below. And essentially what you do is just do an add a fuse and this connects to the switchboard. So I'm gonna sort all that and uh, get it all wired in. Okay, everything is now wired up. I'll turn the fuse on. And obviously I don't have any accessories wired in, but I'm assuming now that I should be able to have power at the panel. So let's try it out. Nope. 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 Spent probably three or four hours troubleshooting for absolutely no reason. Should have realized that I wired power tap for the panel on the light switch. So the panel won't come on until I turn my lights on. We have the panel now all powered up and we can start wiring our accessories. Okay, so now that I've got the switchboard all wired and working properly now, now we're going to install the fog lights and I can confidently now just attach these right to the switchboard and they should work. Now I've already gone ahead and converted this one to work for the fog light on the Tacoma. Setting up the brackets, getting the bolt in, putting the cap on and running the wire to the fuse board. Essentially if I was just running the fog lights to a switch, you'd have to wire them to a relay, have an inline fuse, and then run the positive and negative to a battery a power source and it gets quite complicated you know you imagine if you end up having a couple other lights these are just for the fog lights so they do provide the whole harness if you've wired in the switch panel like i have you just cut off pigtails for the lights themselves all that's left is really you just got to wire the positive and negative one of six ports on the switch panel and then that associates with one of the buttons on the inside panel the bezel itself just pops out as you can see here we're a little muddy from our last wheel and trip. So it's fairly simple how this fog light gets installed. Getting access to it is not as easy as it sounds. So there's only one screw that holds this fog light into place. That's gonna be on the top hole here and it's gonna be screwed in from behind. These two ports here just sit on the shelf essentially. So that's how it's gonna sit. I somehow have to put a screw in from behind. At the end of the day, it's just like a typical kind of Phillips screw. It threads into the hole here. So let's get to that. Okay, definitely a lot easier if you remove some of the bolts behind the fender panel and then you can just access it right behind. There we go. Fog light installed. Let's wire it up. So now the headlight bulb is quite simple to install. Just gotta swap out the original. Okay, we're gonna do a little test at night. So that is stock headlights on, stock headlights with fog lights. Now let's see the difference with the aftermarket headlight bulbs.
All right, now that is everything installed and it is looking incredible. It looks factory and out of place, out of sight, out of mind, but still easily accessible to work on. Now one really cool feature with the switch panel, you can use your phone to control it and play around with some settings. So here I can go and toggle the fog lights on and off. With the app, you can also change the color of the backlight to any color in the RGB spectrum. You can adjust the brightness and you can also group toggles to work together. What comes in the package is also a full set of stickers for your various switches and obviously right now I only have the one fog light but eventually this will get filled out with other things. Alright so that is what I'm going to call phase one of the lighting upgrade for the Tacoma. It's really again setting the foundations for a great build. So I'd like to say thank you to Oxbeam again for providing some of their products for me to try out. They allowed me total freedom to be completely honest about their products and how I feel about them. Uh, just as a first impressions I am happy with the quality. Everything works out of the box and I was provided everything I needed to do the install. I will give you an update after a few months or even a year of use and just to see how things hold up. I couldn't be happier with the install of the fog lights. It just looks really nice. Definitely something you can do at home yourself. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And as always, on to the next one.